He earns his living from other people's trash. Mostly, it's obsolete electrical appliances. But also some items that end up where they don't belong. This monitor should have gone in the bin with the other monitors. It doesn't belong in this container with the small household appliances. Electronic scrap recycling has been around for 20 years in Germany. Manfred Fahne is an expert in the business. It contains metals we want to recover, but it also has materials we don't want. Bits of wood, plastic, contaminants, batteries, condensers, components that contain PCBs. We have to remove all of that and that costs money. The company processes 40,000 tons of electrical appliances each year. But not all waste is created equal. Computers are interesting, of course. It would be nice if the printed circuit board were still here, but as you can see, it's already been opened. Something's missing. A computer hobbyist already took it out. Individual parts from vacuum cleaners, lawnmowers, and coffee makers. The contaminants have to be extracted and removed. Half the weight is metal. We'll keep that. A lot of plastic and waste will be left over, but half the plastic can be reused. So about two-thirds of what you see will be recycled. The company earns money by reselling the raw materials. Recovering those materials is labor-intensive because a lot of the work has to be done by hand. 130 televisions are processed here each hour, some 300,000 a year. But Manfred Fahne says Germans tend to hang on to their old TVs. When Japanese manufacturers who produce these devices visit us, they're always surprised at the age of the ones we get. Apparently, Germans don't tend to throw things away quite as quickly as in other countries. In Germany, manufacturers are required to take back old appliances. That's where the recycling companies come in. Their earnings depend on commodities prices. Manfred Fahne checks the markets every day. And he also keeps close tabs on his own company results. The electronic waste recycling business grosses some 60 million euros each year. A truck arrives with a new shipment of waste for processing. The driver says the shipment contains a lot of plastic and computer parts. Manfred Fahne is glad consumer electronics are a big business. The way I see it, everything in the store shelves will one day end up here. We ask if he's a fan of electronic stores. Actually, I hate going to those huge electronics markets. But it's my bread and butter, so it's important. Another big shipment has just arrived. But as Manfred Fahne knows, one person's trash is another person's treasure. <laughs>